Hello everybody, this is Ashley Jamerson coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I am on my way to Mary Jo's Fabric Store in Gastonia, which is um, a good 30 minutes away from my house. Um, if you do not know, I am a huge quilter and crocheter. Um, I'm falling more and more in love with quilting, and my goal this year has been to make all of the females in my family um, quilts. It has been fun because I've learned some awesome skills and I'm perfecting some skills, but it's also been um, very eye-opening into what I need to take my quilting on to the next level. So you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with real estate? So just like trying to find the perfect house, I have been in one mile, turn right onto Old State. Perfect sewing machine, which I have quickly learned that there is no such thing as the perfect sewing machine. I know there's a lot of Bernina lovers, a lot of Baby Lock lovers, a lot of Handy Quilter lovers, and APQS, I think, whatever, I think that's the name of that company. Um, but I've been doing a lot of homework <laughs> trying to figure it out. Right now, I'm working on an Amazon um, brother for all of my piecing and you know learning and things like that and for piecing that works great but for quilting it makes me want to cry because I have like not a lot of space between the needle and the body and so I can't really quilt larger projects so throws queens definitely not kings I just can't do on my little brother machine. So um, I've been looking at different machines and I've made a list. You remember how I've always talked about making a list of what your needs are and what your wants are. My number one need has been a stitch regulator. Um, Bernina 770s and up have that stitch regulator. The um, long arm Q20, the Q24 has the, um, Turn right onto Old Statesville Road. Sit down long arm machine that has like this hockey puck thing that looks mad confusing that I don't want to deal with. And um, found out that Baby Lock makes a um, a mid arm um, a mid arm quilting machine that has a stitch regulator. In one mile, turn and right. I am going all the way to Gastonia because they happen to have a floor model. Um, that I can touch and test and view and see if it, you know, is great. It does have some cons to it. Um, I think it might be a little bit more difficult to um, quilt larger projects, but my typical throws, baby blankets, table runners, things like that, will work fine on it. So again, how does this circle back to real estate? I know that there's a lot of buyers out there that are shopping for a deal. And a house is a huge investment. Um, this sewing machine that I'm looking at, I think the cheapest one is like $6,000. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like who quilts that much? I do. But um, the most expensive one I think is like in the low 20s. It has everything. You basically load your quilt on it and it'll quilt it for you. And then gets to the end you reset it and it goes back down I mean like I don't have the money or the negotiation skills with my husband use the right lane machine. to turn even though it's absolutely amazing there's just no way my husband will get on board with that turn machine. right so when you're looking for a house I always say make a list of what you want and what you in need. three quarters you of know, a mile and when you, you buy a house you definitely want to get a lot of the wants in there and also keeping your budget in mind and your budget is always going to be the number one factor unless you're paying cash but then again you have a budget because you only have you know x on cash so Again, that list of what you use want, the left two lanes to keep drive, left to merge onto I 485. Um, I've even weighed out what's important, and what's not like the size of the bobbin. Is that important to me? No, I can just wind a whole bunch of bobbins. So, um, it's very difficult. It's a huge investment. It's it's a little you know a little cray cray when you think about it, and. I just want you guys to know that um, keep left. I feel your pain right now <laughs> and I'm going to go look at this sewing machine. It's a little crazy. Um, wish me luck. I hope that it is. Use the left two lanes to, to keep left to merge onto I-485. I don't know how 
how much money um, I need to bring to the table. Second, I have always been a huge proponent of keep left treating. I don't know where I'm going. I've always been a huge proponent of treating people the way I want to be treated. So if you have been following me on Instagram, um, on my my private friend only Instagram page, you know that um, I have a favorite quilt shop um, near my home. And I go to that quilt shop probably once every 10 days because I'm addicted to quilting. So um, I go there like once every 10 days and I'm either there using a long arm machine or I'm buying fabric or looking at notions or just, you know, browsing. And um, I asked In 10 guys, miles, like, take exit 9 to 10 toward I don't you guys have um, this particular sewing machine, quilting machine that I'm interested in on the floor? And he was like, well, I want to sell these more expensive ones so we don't carry you know, the $6,000 machine. We only carry these $10,000, $12,000 machines. And I'm like, that, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, from a business owner, because I am a business owner. I would much rather sell um, a $400,000 house than like a $100,000 house. But if someone comes to me and they want a $100,000 house, I meet their needs. I find them that. And even though he can meet my needs and order it, the fact that he doesn't have it in stock and really doesn't have a, you know, doesn't even have the motivation to have it in stock. And um, for buyers like myself who are doing this as a hobby and not as a job, I mean, still, it's like $6,000. Um, it's sort of weird to me. I was like, okay, so... You want me to go to another store and check out this machine and then come back to you guys to buy it and um, in my mind I'm like no I would much rather um, spend my money with a company who is ready willing and able to meet my needs and I know a lot of buyers think that way too um, when you're looking for a buyer's agent you call them and they're never available or you know, you're like, well, I need to work with an agent who is ready, willing, and able to show me property. Um, when people are, when it's dealing with people's money, the vendor, the agent has to meet the client and buyer's needs. And if your abilities and things like that don't meet that buyer and client, then you basically lose out on that money. Um, that income so that's just something to keep in mind um, I'm really excited I even wore my cute jeans today <laughs> to go and check out this quilting machine and then I'm going to have lunch with my husband at Blaze Pizza and then I have a listing appointment at 3 and then I have to go pick up some green paint to paint my green tree palette um, that I had my father-in-law cut out about two weeks ago and I still haven't painted them and put them outside. Um, and then I'm going to quilt for the rest of the night. I know that sounds like an old lady, but that's how I roll. Okay, so I will let you know how this quilting um, trip goes. I swear I hope this machine really fits my needs. All the research I've done on the machine, the YouTube videos I've watched and so on and so forth, basically point to this machine being the machine that meets my budget, has most of my wants, and my needs, and it fits into my home, like my quilting space, which is my formal dining room that I've turned into my quilting space. But um, anyway, this does all go back to real estate somehow if you think about it. So if you have any real estate questions, feel free to call me. 980-319-3664 or you can visit my website search704.com and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel my goal for 2018 is to have 2,000 awesome followers on my page so help me reach my goal please um, have a great day and I will talk to you soon bye
Okay, so I am back and I love the machine. It is absolutely everything that I wanted and um, I am a free motion quilter which means that my designs and stuff look a lot more organic but if I was going to um, or were going to quilt another person's quilt and they wanted a specific design there are these quilting boards that I can add as an upgrade um, and they just snap in there I mean it's just like an amazing machine and I can like quilt other people's blankets if I did want to do like a little bit of a a side business or someone asked me to quilt up a blanket for them um, or if I just didn't want to give everyone feathers which I love quilting feathers now but I love the machine the cost of the machine is lovely it is $700 less than my go-to quilt shop and they are also offering a $200 rebate so I feel as if this would be the best place for me to purchase this machine and again like the test drive of it went amazing I love it like it is I actually called my husband and he didn't answer the phone but I called him and just to tell him that I love the machine that much but Mary Jo's cloth store may be my next favorite quilt shop even though it's further away from my home the deals are fantastic the cost of the um, the fabric is a little bit cheaper um, I noticed that there is this white fabric that I have um, been using for my African Queen designs as the background and here it's $6.99 and at my quilt shop it's $11.99 and both business owners are small businesses so I don't feel like I am going you know to like a Joann's Fabrics or a Hobby Lobby or something like that I'm still supporting small business which I love doing because I myself am a small business but again um, it's wherever I can get the most bang for my buck so I'm excited like that machine is perfect I think I should turn right no no I turn left yeah I turn what well that is confusing there's an 85 south 85 north and there's an 85 north I have an hour to spare just in case but anyway have a great day heading to lunch with my hubby and then off to my appointment that car about hit me just now um have a great day bye